Hey there, it's Liz Holloway from Liz Holloway Design and I am bringing you another video tutorial on how it's made. This is a shaker cart using the woodland embossing folder. It's gorgeous spiderweb doilies and I'm also using the gold and silver strand sequins and I'm using the Halloween treat bundle set as well. Now before I move on, I have to say that I am so proud of myself this is my second time to come in the top three of the SUO challenge. If you don't know what that means, SUO challenge means that you can use any Stamping Up products to join in the challenge. Anyways, getting back to the card, I have pre-embossed the basic black with the woodland embossing folder. I have seen several ways of coloring the birch wood with sponge daubers, but I found that the colors don't pop as much as I would like it to or I can't get enough colors on the birch, so I'll show you my version. I'm using white craft reinker, and I remove the top so that it pours out a lot faster into the tray. If you pour too much, don't worry, I'll show you later on uh, as to what to do with it. Take a good paint brush and just add a little bit of paint to the tip and just gently apply to the raised area. You don't need to press too hard, let the brush flow. Now I'm going to speed up the video and I'm going to add a little bit of background music but to, to show you how it's completed. And then with the smaller branches, I'm just using the side of my brush to, to uh, capture the raised areas. Look at how far we've traveled Look at how much we've done Truth is one person can matter Look what ideas can become The journey to our destination Is what we remember today Go oh, celebrate Each of us has created We see there is power in one The journey is not always easy But with every step along the way Go oh, celebrate The difference that we that you may need. In my case, I wanted the wood to be highlighted on the right side so that I am adding more paint to the right side of the trees. This gives you the effect of um, the reflection of the moon. Set aside to dry and now you are ready to assemble the card. Oh yeah, and th with regard to the leftover paint, Simply scrape the excess into, excess into your ink pad and then using the bone folder to work the ink back into the pad. Be sure to clean your bone folder with warm water. Now you're going to cut a piece of designer paper at 3 inch by 4 and a quarter inch and you want to create your window, your window by cutting half inch around the perimeter by using your paper trimmer. First align your designer paper at half inch on the right and then using the cutter starting, start the cutting line at half inch and then cut down to four and a quarter inch. 
turn your designer paper 90 degrees and repeat the same process on the three sides. And of course, the shorter end at cutting at half inch to two and a half inch. Now you want to keep the inner piece as I will show you that you will need it for the other card. The next step is to cut a basic black cardstock at two and a quarter inch by three and three quarter inch and then cut a quarter inch surrounding to create the frame. Aligning the black cardstock to the quarter inch on the right side of the trimmer and then start your cutting at quarter inch and then cutting it down to three and a quarter, three and a half inch. Turn your cardstock 90 degrees, starting the cutting blade at a quarter inch and then cutting down to one and three quarter inch. And then repeat on the other two sides. Now you can adhere the frame to the designer paper with the multi-purpose Tombow glue. The next step is to secure your window sheet on and I'm using tear and tape. This is a very strong tape so be careful not to uh, rip your designer paper as it is very strong. I'm using scissors to cut the tape but you can rip them off too and it's just as easy. I like my tape to be clean. Remove the protective sheet and lay your window sheet down and secure your black frame if you have not done so earlier. For the web, I cut the web into quarters and securing the web with the tear and tape. You just want to line it just some smidge at the upper left corner. If you have foam tape, add it to the back of your designer paper. And if you don't, and in my case I didn't have any, so I'm using some fun foam and which is cut at 3 quarter eighths of an inch strip. Make sure that when you are securing the foam that there that you don't leave any openings or spaces. And this will keep all your sequence in. Now it's time to bring in your painted wood and then check to see if all your paint is dry and if it's not, zap it with a heat tool. Sometimes certain areas may have more paint than others, so just grab a cloth and remove the excess and zap it again with your tool. You know that fun foam only has the one, stick, one sticky side, so just add more tear tape to the fun foam. So here comes the fun part. I have pre-stamped all the spiders on very vanilla cardstock and punched each of them out with 3 quarter inch circle punch. The roll of sequence is in a roll of course, and to remove them individually can be a pain. I'm using my paper piercer and just grabbing them one at a time at the hole. If someone knows a better way to remove these sequins, please do share with others. Then what you're going to do is then you fill the middle up with how many sequins you want, whether it's silver or gold in my case. I used the silver and gold and then I added the spiders in there. And then carefully remove the protective sheet and lay the background and securing it tightly and that is it for this card so I hope you had fun with this one you can hear the background music is turned on and that means that the video is coming to an end now this uh, card is actually going to go in my one of my 3D designs which is called Haunted and which will be released on October the 5th. 
my team has come up with some great ideas for this haunted house, so stay tuned, and I'll catch you later. Thanks for joining me, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye for now. For products that I have talked about, I will link it down at the bottom of my YouTube description, or you can go to my blog at lizhollowaydesign.blogspot.ca. If you have not yet subscribed to my YouTube, hit the subscribe button now. You can also follow me at Facebook pages at Canadian Paper Craft Arts and Scrapbook or Liz Holloway Design. I am also on Instagram and Twitter, and I appreciate you stopping by, and I hope that I have inspired you.